What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everyone that's tuning in. I'm going to talk about a woman who is a black American female. She's a truck driver. And apparently she was over in Dubai. Now, I'm not sure the length of time that she was in Dubai, but it looks like she may have been over there since maybe November because there were she was driving a truck over there in November of last year. And apparently two months ago, she got herself arrested and detained because she mouthed off at somebody uh, that, you know, she was trying to return a car and the car was damaged. They wanted her to, to pay for it and she refused to do it. And they have been detained. They've been she's been detained for the last two months. Now, I'm going to be very clear here. The information I'm going off is based on the information that is provided that this is why i'm going to show you this news story and then i'm going to go over the article and i'm gonna have my opinion and my commentary on this okay because i've been reading up on this looking at what is happening and her family feels like she is wrongfully detained and, and i want to make it also clear that when you go to foreign countries especially muslim countries as a woman, you have to move differently. You can't go over to these other countries and act the same way that you do over here, especially in regards to getting into it with men. Those countries are not going to allow women to just talk to men any type of way. And that is why she is detained. It's not for any other reason as to she as a woman decided to get into it with a man out there in dubai now i'm gonna play this video and then we're gonna get into it the last two months are described as terrifying for a houston woman who we're told is being detained in dubai fox 26's domly keith joining us live near downtown houston with why she's been on Fox the last okay here we go two months are described as terrifying for a Houston woman who we're told is being detained in Dubai. Fox 26's Domly Keith joining us live near downtown Houston with why she's being held Domly. Well, the crime she's charged with may surprise you, and Dubai is increasingly becoming a vacation spot for a number of Houston women. One who's there right now, according to her social media page, uh, is trying to get back to the Bayou City, but according to her mom, her passport has been confiscated because she was charged with screaming in public. It, al it also could result in prison time. So it's very scary. The trip turned terrifying for Tierra Young Allen when her mom says she was a passenger in a friend's rental car and they got into an accident there in Dubai. Tina Baxter says when her daughter went to the company to retrieve her ID, credit card, and other items left in the rental, Baxter says it did not go well. She found out that she could only receive those items if she paid an undisclosed amount of money. Um, she dealt with a very ag aggressive individual, a young man there who was screaming at her. Baxter says her 29-year-old daughter ultimately yelled back at the rental car agent. She says resulting in her being charged for... Now, I want y'all to understand, it kind of glossed over it. But the reason why the man got upset with her is because they were having a back and forth. Because her friend... She was a passenger. Her friend got in an accident. How are you on vacation getting in accidents? But apparently that's what happened. Why would you would need a car in Dubai? You could just, you could take a, a, an Uber everywhere. Why do you need a rental car? I, I don't know how long she's been there. She, she must've been there for a while. I believe she's been there for maybe a few months before this. Um, but you know, you can't wreck somebody's stuff and then not pay. But they kind of glossed over that. They're not holding, you know, it, that guy wasn't upset for no reason. Again, we don't know. Uh, they're saying that the guy was angry and aggressive with her. And she went back at him. Of course, she, she calls herself the sassy trucker. But in that, but you need to understand your surroundings and understand where you are at. 
and you just can't be going back and forth with people in their country because they have the advantage. See, you can do that over here because as a woman, you know, you can get away with a whole lot, but not in these Muslim countries or even some other countries. You can't go there and just talk any way that you want to in these other countries. You just can't do it. Being charged for screaming there in Dubai. And so she is in jail for one reason and one reason alone. She raised her voice. In that country, a female is not even allowed to raise her voice. But she still went there, which I don't understand. Now, I want y'all to understand something about Dubai. Dubai is a destination spot for Instagram models and other women to go and to mess around with those Arab billionaires and those Arab Saudi princes or African scammers, rich billionaires, whomever, right? They all go to Dubai. They fly those women into Dubai. When you see a woman just randomly in Dubai, she ain't paid for that trip. That trip was paid for her. Now, the sassy trucker, I'm assuming paid her own way there. She must have, again, I, there's a video of her there as far back as November. I don't know why she was there that long. Usually you go to a place like that, you leave after about a week or so. I don't know why she, did she go and come back? But she has a video on her YouTube channel where she talks about moving to Dubai. That obviously was a place that she was looking to be. Only, and, and why would you wanna move to a place that has these these laws and, and i'm sure she knew this i'm sure she knew that this type of things weren't tolerated but she still gravitated towards dubai right most most western women will go to dubai they'll vacation but they coming right back they're not trying to stay there but she was comfortable there if she raises her voice it's punishable by jail time it's been very emotional. There are some days I stay up all night crying. They have a strict law system that is really based on theocracy. This website warns, quote, laws and customs are very different, so be aware of your actions to ensure they don't offend while in United Arab Emirates. Again, I don't think she's a dumb female at all. You have to know this, ladies. When you're traveling to these countries, especially these Muslim countries, I know these women have always thought about going to Dubai. They see all these women going to Dubai, right? You see these celebrities go there. You better understand your surroundings. That is a place to go vacation and then to leave. The fact that she was there for an extended amount of time and she, and she put up a video on her channel about moving to Dubai. That lets me know that she was comfortable there. Now, again, maybe she knew all this, but going screaming back and forth with men is not tolerated. They, they do not play that disrespect over there. They don't play women getting into arguments with men over there. This, you know what I'm saying? They just don't. Now, after Baxter says her daughter was charged with screaming in Dubai, her passport has been taken, and the American social media influencer who works as a truck driver can't leave the UAE, according to her mom. And her mom says she's been placed under a travel ban pending the outcome of the investigation. It's very frightening. Um, the law hey, hey, black women who support Joe Biden. This woman has been detained for two months. I haven't heard anything. I first saw this story on a news break. I didn't hear your bloggers, whether it be the shade room, whether it be these others speaking about this, they too busy talking about Tory Lanez. They talk about Tory Lanez two, three times a day, but they're not talking about this black woman who's being detained in another country for two months, having heard of Pete. You know why? Because it makes your president look bad that a black woman is over there and all of you people that support this administration have not once brought this up. None of your black celebrities, none of them have brought this up. This woman has been there for two months, two months, two months. And now this story is coming out now. Longer she's been there, the more reality has started to kick in. In our opinion, she did not commit a crime. Don't punish women for doing the same thing a man can do. See, that's where you're wrong, uh, Quan Quanell. That is where you're wrong, sir. 
in Muslim countries, those men rule those societies. This is why I don't understand why feminists embrace Islam because Islam is a patriarchal religion. They don't take, they're not going to take disrespect from women. They're just not. Women have a role and a place in society and that's where they're at. Now they have loosened up certain things over there, but no, just be, just because she a woman don't mean she can go back and forth with a man. Women shouldn't be arguing with men, period. It's bad enough that they do that over here. You can't go over there and then tell the people who have ran their culture and society the way that they have for hundreds of years. Now tell them what they can or cannot do. That is why she's been there two months. This attitude is why they have why she's been there for two months. You have to be more strategic and understanding of their culture and understanding of accountability. Again, I'm not saying that she should be detained. I think it's silly, but at the end of the day, they have laws over there and there's nothing I can do about it. There's nothing anybody else over here can do about it. She's been over there detained for two months and now we're hearing about it. In Dubai, it's not fair and it's not right. Now, the 29 year old does now have an attorney there in Dubai, and her mom says she's told that she could face jail time because there is surveillance video of her screaming. Now, mm. we have reached out to the U.S. and the UAE embassies. Will government officials step in and give her assistance? I'm still awaiting response. They're not because she only checks one box. Well, two boxes. She's black and female, but she's not part of the alphabet community like Britney Griner. See, Britney Griner, see, America's trying to push this gay agenda. Yes, they are. They're pushing the rainbow gay agenda, and she doesn't fit that. She, not, she doesn't check that box. So there's no hurry to get her out of the situation. There's no points to be scored with the Biden administration. So no, they're not going to do anything right now unless more people speak about this, and I'm surprised it took people two months to figure this out. This, this She might be over there for a while because of how much the people over here fake care about women because that's all they're doing they're fake caring about women now i want to make this clear i don't think that she uh should be detained for for arguing but at the end of the day that is their their laws over there and you have to abide by their laws over there that's a patriarchal country women have a role in society and they're just not going to let women act any kind of way. This ain't America where the women are so wayward that the, they, if a men even criticize them, they get attacked. Look at what happened with Kiki Palmer, her, 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 her boyfriend. He criticizes the way his wife dressed, not no other woman, the way his wife dresses. And now he's getting all this pushback. That's because in America, you can't criticize a woman. Women can do whatever they want to do, right? But when you go to those Muslim countries, you cannot bring that attitude and that mindset over there because they, they don't care that you're American. As a matter of fact, they like to jail Americans. So I don't know what happens. I mean, hopefully for her sake, she's able to come back to the state soon. But uh, let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts. Like this video and share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see y'all next.